Now, your Chris 6 weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. What a couple great uh, uplifting stories that Seth just had. And I'll tell you what, the weather's going to put us kind of in the holiday season here next week, too, as we take a look at the weather story. And we're going to see some fog and cooler temperatures here overnight and with a weak frontal system. Saturday, the best day of the weekend for your outdoor plans, including that uh, toy drive that Nate is holding tomorrow. And the Gemini meteor shower happens on Sunday night, and we're going to clear out beautifully for that. Uh, look up uh, primarily in the uh, southern sky, but up anywhere in the sky after dark on Sunday night and into early Monday morning, and much cooler next week. We're even going to see some 30s for low temperatures and maybe challenge the freezing mark in some of our uh, northern counties. 73 degrees right now, a very light west wind. And 73 here, 75 in Robstown. Uh, temperatures cooling off from the low 80s today. Dew point temperatures are uh, lower too, but still on the relatively high side. That's going to lead to some fog overnight with these light winds. We do have a weak front coming through, which will deliver a west wind here at 11 o'clock tonight and very light out of the northwest in the morning. That's where the fog comes from. And then a light easterly wind uh, tomorrow afternoon. Our weather starts to deteriorate into more clouds on Sunday and even a little shower activity near the coast ahead of another stronger frontal system that will drive uh, northwesterly winds and colder air in here on Sunday night and Monday. So the fog forecast, uh, we'll see some zero visibilities along the coast to eight miles inland at 5 a.m. So it's going to vary widely depending on the wind. And uh, again, and more fog near the coast than inland. Typically, it's the other way around, but not this time. 73 right now will be down to 62 at midnight and on into the mid 50s here by daybreak with these light winds. And again, just a thin high overcast. So morning lows are going to vary widely from 60 in Port Aransas to 54 in Robstown, 46 up in George West. Wow, it's going to be cool there with that fog. And the highs tomorrow reach 80 degrees with sunshine, more than we had today with temperatures holding in the uh, mid 70s along the immediate coast from Rockport down to Flower Bluff. Had a couple sprinkles today. There's our frontal system up to the north. It is weak as it pushes through with high pressure. There's the next front that'll be coming in on Sunday night. And there's the next one on Tuesday. So we're really getting land basted with these frontal systems. And that will uh, tend to take our temperatures back below normal. High cloudiness here, but dry air will return tomorrow with sunshine. And these upper level lows, here's the first one. That's the first front. This is the Sunday night front that gives us that northwesterly flow. And then a stronger one comes in on Tuesday. We get some air out of southwestern Canada. So cloud and rain forecast. Again, you see the fog in the morning along the coast. Sunshine during the day tomorrow, but it clouds up here on uh, Sunday with a few showers around. We'll call them isolated in nature, but it clears out about 4 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. And again, tomorrow the best day of the weekend, 79 with isolated showers Sunday, clears out Sunday night, windy and only 61 Monday, 44 here Tuesday morning, 39 on Wednesday morning, and by the time we get to Thursday, mid-30s. Let's go over to some football and uh, Buck Stadium with Alan Harwell. 